You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Live fans, let's talk about the Beijing 2022 Olympics. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the games kick off in February. So we're roughly what this is, what, September, five months or so away from that actually happening. We know that the Tokyo Olympics happened a few months ago and during the Tokyo Olympics, there was no vaccine mandates. And I believe that uh, the athletes, they came out unscathed. I don't believe they had really any positive tests that I actually knew about, however. But now we're going into Beijing 2022 and that's changing. That is changing if you are a member of Team USA. Not all the countries, just Team USA, folks, because now Team USA, guys, let's check this out. U.S. OPC, U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee, will require COVID-19 vaccine for all U.S. athletes at Beijing Games. Why am I not surprised by this? Now, unlike these sports leads here in America that have unions, the unions fight against this kind of thing. But when it comes to the Olympics, they don't have unions. So there's nobody, I believe, actually representing any of the athletes. So the athletes have no say whatsoever what goes into their body if they want to be a part of the Beijing Olympics in 2022. So let's go ahead. Let's read this here. The United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee on Wednesday said all U.S. athletes hoping to compete at the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics will need to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Quote, effective November 1st, 2021, the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee will require all USOPC staff, athletes and those utilizing USOPC facilities, including the training centers, to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. USOPC CEO Sarah Hirschland wrote in a letter reviewed by Rudders. This requirement will also apply to our full Team USA delegation at future Olympic and Paralympic Games. So this seems to be going beyond 2022 Beijing based on this, because they're talking about um, future Olympic and Paralympic Games. So what about 2024? Same thing. I'm pretty sure the pandemic could be over by then. At least I hope he will. So they're going to require the jab then, you know, a full three, three years from now. Probably so. Athletes and staff would have the opportunity to obtain a medical or religious exemption to the mandate. The USOPC said. Wow. Unreal. None of the major North American sports leagues require the athletes to be vaccinated. The International Olympic Committee did not require athletes, the IOC, who competed at the Tokyo Games to be vaccinated, although it was encouraged. And guys, Tokyo went off without a hitch. I don't believe they had any positive tests, at least that I I can't think of any off the top of my head. If you guys actually uh, thought of one, hey, let us know. But athletes came out OK in that. But the USA the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee said, no, you will get the jab if you want to be a part of this team. Person said the USOPC had encouraged, had hoped COVID-19 restrictions would be lifted by the end of the pandemic delayed Tokyo Games. But in reality, the pandemic is far from over. Well, right now, it's September. So you have October, November, December, January, February, five months away from now. Things could change. So what if the virus kind of dissipates come February? Are you still going to be requiring a jab? Probably so. I guess space on this. OK. It says, quote, this step will increase our ability to create a safe and productive environment for Team USA athletes and staff and allow us to restore consistency in planning, preparation. And service to athletes, she said. The move has the support of the Athletes Advisory Council, 
and National Governing Bodies Council, she said, which was further reinforced by the FDA's approval of the Pfizer vaccine and the recent mandates by the U.S. federal government. Wow. The Beijing Winter Olympics begin on February 4th next year. So there you have it, guys. Athletes on Team USA in Beijing will need to get the jab. No, it's kind of funny, you guys, you know, that the Olympics are actually going to be in the country where the virus came from. And there's a whole bunch of theories about how uh, the virus leaked out to the rest of the world. It's from China and the Winter Olympics are going to be in China. I find that to be very, very interesting, folks. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of Team USA? All athletes, staff, if they're going to be a part of Beijing 2022, they have to get the jab. Now, other countries doesn't apply to other countries because this is strictly uh, from the U.S. I just think this is kind of ridiculous, folks. I really do. These are world class athletes that are going to be. In the Olympics, they take care of their bodies. They eat right. You know, I don't think it's going to affect them uh, nearly as much as, you know, the media would probably say. But that's just my opinion right there. Check with your doctor. Do what you want to do with your own body. I believe athletes should have the same right as well. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Live and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.